Well, humans are living in a place other than planet Earth right now, and a Colorado researcher took a deeper look at what longer missions in space do to the human body. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey has more on her findings. They're battling a lack of gravity and an excess of radiation. But the question is, what do long missions in space do to the human body? This is where we are. This is where we know. This is the, you know, end of chapter one. A Colorado State researcher is now detailing her findings. That was such a huge amount of, of work and 10 different investigations across the country. Okay, they aren't searching for the fountain of youth, but scientists across 12 universities using the famous twin astronaut study wanted to see how time in space impacts the structure of human cells. When you're talking about, you know, even several years and perhaps more of being in this very extreme environment of space, you know, what are the things that we need to know? Their study subjects, NASA astronaut Scott Kelly, who spent nearly a year on the International Space Station, his identical twin Mark, was here on Earth. All of these crazy stressors that the astronauts are under, you know, microgravity, you know, ra space radiation, all of this surely will shorten telomeres during space flight. CSU professor Susan Bailey was among those researchers. She specifically looked at the length of telomeres. Telomeres are just the ends of our chromosomes. They're like a cap at the end, and they're important because they protect. Those caps shorten as we age. As our cells divide, as we get older, our telomeres shorten. But researchers found the exact opposite for astronauts in space. We saw longer telomeres in space, not only in Scott, but also in our other astronauts on shorter duration missions. Sounds like a good thing, right? Length and telomeres are indicators of health, but it also has some pretty big drawbacks. There's just always a downside, and that is that it also increases your risk of getting cancer. Long telomeres are not the fountain of youth, um, and certainly I think during space flight it's even more of a concern because you've got mutations going on at the same time. Her findings could be crucial for the future of space travel. You're talking about you know, even several years and perhaps more of being in this very extreme environment of space. You know, what are the things that we need to know? As scientists push the boundaries of human exploration. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.